Welcome, history enthusiasts and exam warriors. You've just tuned in to the JKS SB Exam Special YouTube channel, your one-stop destination for all your exam preparation needs. Here we dive deep into the pages of history, unravel the mysteries of science, and decode the complexities of various exams. As part of our history series, we're about to embark on an exciting journey to the early 20th century to the heart of the Indian independence movement. So buckle up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Now let's dive into today's fascinating topic. Decoding the Surat Split, Congress 1907. Close your eyes and picture this. We're stepping into a time machine, whirring backwards to the early 20th century, to an India under the colonial rule of the British Empire. This was an era of change, of unrest, of bubbling nationalistic fervor that would eventually lead to India's independence. Against this backdrop of change emerged the Indian National Congress, a major political force that sought to represent the Indian people and their interests. One of the many landmark moments in the Congress's history was the Surat Session of 1907, an event marked by intense debates, ideological clashes and a split that would have far-reaching consequences. Now, imagine you're a fly on the wall during that Surat Session. What would you see? What would you hear? Question 1. Who presided over the Surat Session of Congress in 1907? A. Gopal. Krishna Gokhale B. Dadabhai. Naoroji C. Rash Bihari Ghosh. D. Lala Lajpat Rai. Answer. C. Rash Bihari Ghosh. Question 2. What was the main reason for the split in the Congress at the Surat Session? A. Disagreement over the method of struggle against the British B. Personal rivalry between leaders. C. Differences in regional interests. D. Disagreement over the demand for complete independence. Answer A. Disagreement over the method of struggle against the British. Question 3. Who were the leaders of the moderates faction in Congress during this time? A. Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Aurobindo Ghosh B. Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Dadabhai Noroji C. Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru D. Subhash Chandra Bose and Bhagat Singh. Answer B. Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Dadabhai Naoroji. The Surat session was a pivotal moment in Indian history. It marked the beginning of a new era in the Indian freedom struggle, one characterized by different ideologies, strategies and visions for a post-colonial India. The split between the moderates and the extremists, as they came to be known, reflected the diversity of thought and the spirit of debate that was integral to the Indian freedom struggle. Question 4. Who were the leaders of the extremists faction in Congress during this time? A. Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Aurobindo Ghosh B. Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Dadabhai Noroji C. Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru D. Subhash Chandra Bose and Bhagat Singh answer A. Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Aurobindo Ghosh. Question 5. What was the primary demand of the moderates? A. A. Complete independence from British rule B. Greater representation for Indians in the British government. C. Abolition of the British East India Company de-establishment of a democratic government in India. Answer B. Greater representation for Indians in the British government. The Surat Session of Congress. 1907 was not just a turning point for the Congress, but for the entire nation. It signified a shift in the Indian political landscape and set the stage for the next phase of the freedom struggle. Question 6. What was the primary demand of the extremists? A. Complete independence from British rule. B. Greater representation for Indians in the British government. C. Abolition of the British East India Company. D. Establishment of a democratic government in India. Answer A. Complete independence from British rule. Question 7. What was the immediate impact of the split on the Congress and the freedom struggle? A. It weakened the Congress and slowed the pace of the freedom struggle B. It strengthened the Congress and accelerated the pace of the freedom struggle C. It led to the formation of a parallel political party D. It led to the end of British rule in India. Answer A. It weakened the Congress and slowed the pace of the freedom struggle. The Surat split, despite its immediate adverse impact, had a significant role in shaping the course of the Indian freedom struggle. It laid bare the diversity of thought within the Indian political sphere and set in motion a series of events that would ultimately lead to India's independence. Question 8. When did the two factions of the Congress reunite? A. 1916 B. 1920 C. 1930 D. They never reunited. Answer A. 1916. Question 9. What event led to the reunion of the two factions? A. The Jallianwala Bagh massacre. B. The non-cooperation movement. C. The Lucknow Pact. D. The Quit India Movement, answer C, the Lucknow Pact. 
Question 10. What was the long-term impact of the Surat split on the Indian freedom struggle? A. It led to the formation of the Muslim League B. It led to the adoption of non-violent methods of struggle C. It led to a more radical and aggressive approach to the freedom struggle D. All of the above answer C. It led to a more radical and aggressive approach to the freedom struggle. The Surat split was a turning point, a defining moment, a fracture that would shape the future of India. It was a testament to the diversity of thought, the spirit of debate, and the resilience of a people yearning for freedom. It was, in every sense, a momentous event in Indian history.